All right. So here we are. We got our adventures at Best Buy. So today we're looking at mice and keyboards. So first we have these Microsoft mice, which are extremely tiny. And now this one I can understand because it's pink, so it's probably for like kids, fans, or whatever. But they got this one. It's like black and silver. So it's like business. And I mean this one. Sure, this might be for little kids, but no, no kids don't like these. Now, this is a Logitech one. It's basically the same. Nobody's gonna like these. These are all like tiny. How are you gonna use these? And then I got this shiny one. It's pretty cool, but again, it's it's insanely small, and it's of course only good if you're like I don't know, not like <laughs> if you're like a detective and you need to collect fingerprints. <laughs> Then you got your fingerprints right there. Then we got this weird one, this fold them up one. Which, the laser's up here so that you can use it when it's folded. But why? Because every time you click, it rocks. I, and then you fold this up, and I'm sure this thing's going to look like scratch your keyboard. With this here. Then I got this one. It's like some modern, different colors. But it's, Bluetooth, so it's got the worst battery life, I'm gonna guess. So I got this one. Again, shiny. At least it's a normal size. But again, it's just gonna collect a bunch of fingerprints. Then we got this one, pretty much still still small. It's bigger than this other one, but Alright, and then we got this one. This one's like a rectangular shape. Not really good for a hand, I suppose. Weird. Look, it's falling apart. Alright, now we got this one. Small. Again, more rectangular shape. Not really good for your hand. Then you got this one. It's like a inlet for your thumb. And this one's kind of weird. But that's nothing compared to this one. It's got a little scroll wheel in here. Where's the scroll wheel? And look at this. This weird shape. This obscure shape. At least your hand feels good in it, but what is this scroll wheel for? It doesn't even... This scrolls like this. This is like click. But we have the king of all weird, odd fights. This one. With a ball. A it goes 360 degrees all around. Same same shape. This this doesn't even feel good. This this is hard. This is like a marble. And what shape is this? Pennsylvania. Yeah. Does your hand wrap good around Pennsylvania? No. And what are you gonna do with this mouse? Like like at that bar when they got these giant sitting in these balls. You're gonna play golf. Hey, look at me, you guys. Holding it like a gun. And then I got this one. Now this one's really the only good one. Because it's got this little drawing pad thing. Yeah, they have those at the art and the designing room, the design studio room at the middle school. They're kind of hard to get the hang of, though. The smells are kind of weird, though. Again, it's like a bar of soap. But you can always get your own. Then we got this one. It's very small, slim. It's a good choice. It's got a bunch of worthless multimedia buttons up here that nobody else had ever realized how to use. It does have a power button on your keyboard, which I think is pretty neat. But it comes with this mouse. Of course, we've gone over already. And we have this one. with a screen at the top. What is this for? Is it going to pop up and say, somebody's IMing you? Yeah, I can tell. I have a computer screen. Or you don't even need you have a computer screen. You can just do everything on here. But you guys, I'm typing my three-page essay on this small little thing that displays three letters. And then, again, we got this weird mouse with this inlet for your thumb. Alrighty, moving on, we have this one. They, like, some, some tried to compact it, and it ended up squishing up in the middle. So then they threw the word egronomic on it and called it a keyboard. I got the zoom thing on here. And what is this? What is this made out of? 
Leather. Leather. A leather keyboard. This is leather too. A $70 leather keyboard. Yes, 70 bucks. This one's $80.